everyone, how's it going? Um, this is part two of the uh, Kodak Ektar 100 film review test that I did a while ago now. Um, I did promise in my last video to um, actually do some of these follow-up videos that I've kind of like forgot about or you know put to the wayside a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's Friday night, got myself a nice beer. Nice. So we can jump right into this review of the film. So yeah, let's do it. Right, so the first image we have here is um, right at the beginning of the film. I managed to wind the film on good enough that I got 13 exposures out of the um, 120 film. But as you can see, um, there's a bit of the tape that holds the film onto the roll. Um, not the best image, completely out of focus to be honest, um, as I have struggled with this particular camera focusing as it is a manual focus camera. Um, every now and again I seem to get a tax, tax sharp shot, um, even shooting at f8 and above. Um, maybe a remote trigger in the future may help, um, as I was just uh, just using a tripod and the normal shutter release on the camera. This is the second shot. As you can see, it is the same image as before. Um, I thought I'd take another one as I thought the first one was going to be out of focus. And as I can see here that the next one was as well. Um, as, I get, as I said before, really struggling with the manual focus um, camera as... I've always used autofocus um, lenses and cameras, so it's a new experience for me trying to get um, things in sharp focus. So this is the third image now. Um, bit strange this one as um, the sides of the image are in very sharp focus, however the middle is not. Um, now. I think I may have focused a bit too um, far forward, so it's brought everything closest to me into focus, then just completely dropped the back back of the image out. Um, when when I was out shooting these images, my whole concept and idea about them was to try get no people in, try very minimalist images, just of the landscape. Um, make it look kind of like barren and empty like you would in like a desert or something like that even though it is just some moorland maybe about five minute drive from where I live so good image however I I don't think it's usable as the middle the main focus point of the image is completely out of focus now this one was a bit easier to focus on as it is just <clears throat> a pole with not much around it so as I can see here it's quite sharp and in focus <clears throat> um, quite a cool little image these things are scattered about all over the moor showing people the different ways to go um, you know different routes to take where different things are um, I thought this was a cool little shot. Um, I absolutely love the colours of this film. Um, I did have a comment on the video saying there's about a bit of a pinky shoe to it. Um, I've not done anything with these images. I've not colour corrected them or anything like that. This is straight um, off the film, scanned in and put straight onto the computer. So I don't know if that's um, a common thing with the Kodak Ektar film that it has a pinkish shoe maybe it was just the light I was in that particular day um, let me know what you guys think if you've had similar issues or similar colour cast to your film um, I think this image is quite quite tack sharp and in focus here um, didn't really like this image because as you can see there's um, some pylons and whatnot in the background. I thought um, I'd be able to drop them out of focus enough that you wouldn't notice. So it kind of comes away from my whole barren um, landscape with no presence of um, people or um, 
industry or utilities of such. Um, again, uh, really love the colours of this film. Personally, I can't see much of a pink hue to it. Um, maybe that's just me. Who knows? Um, my thought behind this image was to try put the tree out of focus and capture the tree in the um, puddle below which I think I've done quite well there. Um, I don't even think I was shooting um, that uh, crazy aperture as well. I think this is about f8 maybe. So as you can see with a medium format camera even that you know completely blows the background out of focus which if you can get it right it looks really good but getting it right is quite hard um, this one here um, again um, should have thought a bit more about the background that I was getting you can see some of the houses and stuff in in the other valley um, maybe if I went about this kind of um, shoot again I would try to consciously think more about what is in the background and what you know image I'm trying to create but as I said it, it was merely a test to see what the film was like um, how it reacted how I used it before going out and trying to do something like this again or maybe a different project in the future um, again here um, Foreground in focus, background completely blown out, which is not what I was kind of going for. I was trying to get the um, the tree on the horizon line there in focus. Um, really, really tricky um, lens to focus this, as you have you have two planes that you have to kind of like line up to get the focus right. And even if it's out just a little bit, you know it 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 is out a lot when you look at the images after. Next one, moving on. Now this image I really like because it's completely void of um, anything that you know human beings would leave or create. Even though there's a path as such that people have walked up and down, you know, it, there's nothing there to suggest anybody's around for miles. And you know, perfectly, perfect focus there. I think um, foreground, you know quite sharpening focus then you know gently blurring out towards the back yeah pretty good image as you can see on the right hand side there's a little bit of light leak but mm, not not much that really distracts from the image um, again like this image it looks a bit soft maybe um, the colors are in this one seem a bit dull to me or I can you know really start to tell that there is a little bit of a pink issue but that could be corrected later on in post um, again this one same image as before as I th thought I'd take you know a couple of the same ones to, you know just to um, if the focus was a little bit out but in this one as you can see at the top there are two people um, running along the top of this hill here um, same one again, I must have taken three of this particular image, not quite sure why, but um, the third one in the set, again, there's um, somebody running along the top. So, in future, I think I need to pay a little bit more attention to what's going on around the frame, rather than just trying to find the shot. <clears throat> pay more attention to, you know, if there's anybody in it, or what's further out in the background if that's you know the look I'm trying to go for and again Tekken 4 now <laughs> come no idea why what possessed me to take 4 again fourth one still people in it and here we are back at the beginning of the image that I took so they're my thoughts and opinions on using the Kodak Ektar film and what I thought of the images that I got from the film. Um, final advice for anyone wanting to go out and shoot film, um, either medium format, 35mm, manual camera, 
<clears throat> anything like that. Um, I'd say plan your shoots carefully, um, know the images that you want to take, know where you want to go, otherwise you know you're just going to waste a lot of time and money getting the film processed, um, scanned and then you know working through them and the initial cost of buying the film. So I'd say you know be, be very particular about what you're going to take, um, plan it as best you can, definitely definitely use a tripod um, for you know shooting landscapes like I've done here um, just to minimize any handshake or you know moving back and forward that could throw the focus out um, so yeah that's a wrap on that video um, you guys let me know what you think about the video um, have you used this film before or a film similar and um, what are your thoughts and opinions on it I'd love to know um, I will be getting to answering people's comments as soon as possible. I know people have commented on the videos, so I'll be getting around to that as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye!